How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. Uh, new brewery time. Um, in the form of Columbus Brewing. Is there a Creeper? Imperial IPA. Love the name. Because I'm a creeper. Um, yeah. Uh, never had anything from a Columbus Brewing Company. Um, comes courtesy of Eric. Thank you very much, dude. He sent me off a box of of uh, a bunch of uh, beers from the round on both sides and high in the middle. And uh, this is one of them. Kind of excited because it's a big Imperial IPA in a bottle. You don't see that a lot nowadays. Um, as far as what else, else it says on here, Trevor India, Imperial India Pale Ale, 10% uh, alcohol by volume, government warning stuff, drink fresh. And that's that. Now it says drink fresh. It was bottled on February 21st. So it's February 12th, sorry. Um, so a bit over two months old. Good enough for me. And the ways I like it. You know, not too bad. It's like a little, like, kind of hatchet, kind of murderous thing going through a hop. And it just says creeper. And that kind of just turns me on a little bit. So creepers love creepers. I just realized I'm doing three beer reviews tonight, and they're all bottles. I do not remember the last time I did three beer reviews that were all bottles. I did not plan that. I just kind of grabbed three that I felt like doing. And, uh, yeah, didn't think about it all that much. So I kind of like it. Anyway, what do you have here? Infinite creaminess. You know what I mean? Kind of khaki color, but kind of off way. A bit more kind of golden in color, the head is. But infinitely creamy. Super tight, compact bubbles. And she's got a soft, super soft, gentle haze to her. And a rich, golden, vibrant, with a tinge of orange, orange kind of body. Let's see what the nose has. Yeah. This is going near old school. Double IPA, Imperial IPA, that kind of sticky resinous but you're getting a nice citrusness that's kind of come off probably a little bit more like a kind of bittering pithy in the taste but it's coming a bit more candied on the nose um it, it's just all about that marriage of that kind of nice dank sticky resinous kind of hoppiness along with that kind of nice rich maltiness that almost comes off like it has a little bit of honey malt in it to me but um yeah she smells nice old school in a good way let's dive in cheers That's a good beer. That's a good beer. Definitely old school style. We're talking, you know, your two hearted of the world kind of vibe. But it has this cool sweetness kind of bopping around the edges of it that kind of separate it from a lot of those other beers. So you get that dank, resinous, hoppy thing. Wash all over. Really nice. You get that rich maltiness. It has that kind of, that little bit of honey thing I was talking about on the nose. But it, it, it's not overly sweet, but it, it's very, it kind of peaks. Instead of being sweet and then kind of washing away, you, you kind of take a take a nice gulp. And it kind of, it's sweet and then kind of gets all sharp, the sweetness, in a fun way. It's more of a, um, yeah, for lack of a better term, a sharp kind of sweetness. But not to be confused with being overly sweet. It's just more of a kind of tactical kind of sweetness. It's not just fatty kind of wash all over your tongue kind of sweetness. It's very, very pinpoint, very sharp, very, very not rounded. Let's put it that way. In a good way. Mouth feels nice. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. Super creepily drinkable. The sweetness kind of tips its hat at its ABV. But I'm not getting much as far as really heat or anything like that. Really good stuff. One of the better, um, like, kind of double IPA, old school-ish, because it definitely has a little bit of new school tendencies. Old school -ish kind of vibe. Um, double IPA I've had in a while. Super drinkable, even at 10%. Uh, let's talk about it. It's one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. Actually, yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of pulling up my heartstrings with a little bit of kind of old schoolness going on. But enough of that kind of hop showiness and the way the sweetness comes off is a very new school kind of tactic. It, it, it best of both worlds. It kind of works for me. Value and availability, no idea. Maybe Eric can chime in on that and leave you with uh, if you like what we like this. If you like old school IPAs, but you want to just attend to that new school, and if you don't want a really well made beer, like I said, it's it's about two months old. Uh, a lot of people kind of pshaw at that, but um, I think it's drinking quite nice. So definitely has the legs to kind of hold up over time. So if you're looking for something that has style and substance in kind of resiny old school kind of fashion.
this does not suck. So there you go. Another review of the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. Type that in Google. You'll find me doing all kinds of stuff outside of here. Um, type beer massive into Google. And you'll find me doing the podcasting stuff. Very different to what I do here. But uh, beer laden nonetheless. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice hot bomb right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.